Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial with uh, Photoshop in how to specifically save your Twitter headers for better quality. Normally you'd take your header here, you'd export it quick as PNG. Just for an example, I'm using a header I made for someone named Rocky. They're a Super Smash Bros. Melee player for a Polar Ace. But normally you'd take your header here, quick export it, and then you'd come over here to Twitter. Normally Twitter, go to your profile. You'd upload your header. Boom, boom, boom. You'd apply it. Then you would notice right after you save it, it kind of gets a little bit blurry. As you can see, the edges around the text look a little blurry. The blur in the background just looks bad and the quality just kind of fades away. Here around the C and the E, you can see it just kind of gets distorted and it loses that quality. A way to work around this that I found is you take your header, you're going to hit Control shift alt s as a way to open up the legacy save option if you don't want to use the hotkey you can click file export save for web legacy version right here uh, all you're going to do is make sure you're on png 8 selective diffusion 256 colors and that should be all everything else default you can copy the settings here after that save you're gonna to wanna to save it to whatever, wherever you want. I'm just gonna save it right here. Stupid phone going off. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop for that. Boom. And then instead of going to the normal Twitter, this is another big key to doing this, is you're gonna to wanna to actually go to the mobile version of Twitter. You can do that easily by typing in mobile.twitter.com right here. And you can actually access the mobile site from this. This kind of works around Twitter's compression system. So if you go back to your profile here, edit profile, click right here on this camera, and then you're gonna upload the other one that you just exported. You're gonna apply that, save that. And once it's all saved, you can go back to your normal Twitter, you can refresh, and you can see the quality has drastically increased. Let's see if we can open up a comparison here. As you guys can see here, the quality of this is the first one. Uh, as you can see, there's like some weird black, like blotting almost in the in the letters here, as well as the detail up here on the uh, uh, Falco's feathers here are a little blurry. And then you go here to the new one, and you can see that detail comes back, that blotchiness goes away, and everything's just more crisp. And overall, you just get a better quality header. So that's a quick workaround for Twitter's compression being awful. So I hope this guys help. I hope this helps you guys make uh, better quality headers. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.